Culture war fights, they have landed in the library. A Wyoming public library board recently fired its head librarian after she refused to remove certain books. The board alleges the books were sexually inappropriate for minors. The librarian, Terry Leslie, wouldn't budge, in part because she believes, quote, the community is harmed by not having access to a wide variety of information. That's what she told the Huffington Post. It all came to a head at a special board meeting where she was fired. I make a motion to um, vote for Terry Leslie's position to be terminated as the Campbell County Public Library Director. All in favor? Wow. Oh, of there you have it. It's worth noting many in the community disapproved of the decision, including this man who spoke to the board before that vote you just watched. When you start outlawing books because of your personal, <coughs> religious, and moral beliefs in this country, you're, you're going against the Constitution. You're going against what we were founded for. This is a <laughs> show, and I'm embarrassed for this board. Thank you. Now, CNN has reached out to the board for comment. We haven't heard back, but a board member said earlier this summer, quote, this is about making the library more responsible for protecting children from sexually explicit material until they are mentally de or and developmentally uh, mature enough to understand the ramifications and consequences of sex and different lifestyles. Joining us is the librarian at the center of all this, Terry Leslie, now the former director of the Campbell County Public Library System. system. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. The one thing I wanted to ask you at the start, can you walk us through how it got to this point? Because this wasn't just the snap of a finger. This was a process, I think, that, that evolved over time, right? Right. Um, it all began in uh, June of 21. Um, I was surprised um, to, uh, to have this happen. It started because we had a Facebook post uh, promoting some LGBTQ books. A commissioner commented, a county commissioner commented on that post. And um, the next thing I know, the next county commissioner's meeting, I get called into the meeting uh, and, and I was told that there was a room full of people there to complain about the library. I had no idea it was coming. So I show up to the commissioners and, and uh, people in the audience are complaining about the books and I get an opportunity to explain how our book challenge process works. And, um, and so I encouraged the audience if they had problems to use that process with the library. Um, Following that, um, that same day, I, I got a, a call from a county commissioner concerned about uh, a children's summer reading program that featured a magician. Um, the complaint was that this magician was transgender. And um, in looking into it, uh, uh, we had no idea, but had no problem with that and, and planned to continue with the program. But the community, the same um, anti-library crowd that had been at the county commissioner's meeting started really um, protesting and um, the magician had received some threats. She decided to cancel the program for her safety and the safety of the children. Um, and in spite of that, the same group uh, chose to picket in front of the library that day, uh, picket signs, don't trans our kids or your library okays, LGBTQ. Um, so that's how it all started. It, it was with that kind of, of uh, drama at the library. We were all taken off guard by it. Um, later into the, um, a few months later into the year, we started getting book challenges. And I, I did have a couple of these activists um, go to the sheriff's office to press charges against me for having um, obscene materials that would harm children. And um, so uh, a special prosecutor was brought in to review uh, the complaint and it was found by this prosecutor that it was not prosecutable, so no charges were brought against me. Um, Can I ask for people who are trying to contextualize what's happening because 
it seems like a pretty mass escalation over a short period of time related to a library and books. Um, the concerns about sexually explicit content and its availability to minors or to, to younger people, what kind of books were these? Why is there any merit to those concerns? Um, there is nothing in the library that could be classified as pornography in any way, shape, or form. We do have um, some sex education books and um, biology books, things like that, and um, that are, you know, are important for, um, for youth to have access to in case they have questions. Um, there were some LGBTQ themes in these books and I, and I felt like the LGBTQ part of that was, was a big part of what the complaints from the public were about. Did they, um, you know, when I take my kids to the library here in New York, the lower floor is the kids section and higher up are adults. Were they asking you to fully remove these books? Because, you know, some of the board members argued they wanted to protect children from all sexual material. Did they want the books just out of the whole library? Or was this about moving them? Um, I think it, it was more about moving them, at least as far as the board was concerned. The co community members would have liked to have them removed all the way around. Um, and so the thought was just move these books uh, up, you know, up into our adult collection. Um, and, you know, so the audience that these books were intended for uh, were teens. Right. And They'd so have questions, as you said, would, right? They'd have questions. Right. That have questions that that are seeking information that would be helpful to them, and um, if they don't find the books on the shelf while they're browsing, they may not realize that they're there, mm -hmm. and they may not be able to get to that information that they need. Terry Leslie, we're out of time. Please keep us posted on how this proceeds. We do appreciate you joining us. All right, thank you.